Hello again. We are Chris Lee and Chase Robinson of Southeastern 16 here to preview Ole Miss's road trip to Columbia, South Carolina. You can catch that 2.30 Central on ESPN. According to Bet Online, as of Monday morning, the Rebels are about nine and a half point favorites with an over under of 53 points. That makes for a predicted final of Ole Miss 31, South Carolina 22. My model also favors Ole Miss by nine and a half. The Rebels coming off a pretty devastating defeat against Kentucky in Oxford. Rebels were double digit favorites there, and South Carolina had a week off. After a route of Akron, interesting matchup we have here because I think we, we're going to see some strength on strength in some spots in, in this one here, Chase. Yeah, and I think Ole, Ole Miss showed on Saturday they are beatable. Um, there is a way to slow down this offense for Ole Miss. I'm sure South Carolina has been watching the uh, the tape from Saturday quite a bit, uh, seeing what Kentucky did and, and how they could do that. Um, you know. South Carolina having beat Kentucky. And so, um, yeah, I think this does make for an interesting matchup, you know, and I think it's it's good for South Carolina. They had this week off. They had some time to uh, heal up some guys, uh, some very important guys who have been out with injuries, still haven't seen the injury report. Obviously, for this week, it's Monday. It doesn't come out to Wednesday. Uh, but Rocket Sanders, we'll see if he's back. Lenora Sellers, we'll see if he's back. Two very important pieces for South Carolina at quarterback and running back. And so um, I'm, I'm interested in this matchup. Look, again, we see Ole Miss is beatable. They're still a very good football team. Would surprise me if they're in their college football playoff. Uh, I'm not saying that they're out of it by any means, uh, but there are some areas that I think uh, South Carolina can, uh, can take advantage of this weekend. We just start our preview with when the road team has the ball. That is Ole Miss, the Rebels, averaging 47.4 points per game. They average 72 offensive snaps, a turnover rate of just 1.1%. That's excellent. They run it exactly half the time, averaging 6.4 yards per rushing play, 10.5 per passing play, so a total of 8.5 yards per snap. And Ole Miss has not played the toughest schedule until running into Kentucky last week. So keep that in mind, but still an outstanding offense. Defense is South Carolina's strength. The Gamecocks have really been stingy, allowing 17 points a game, just 65 snaps against all that defense, a 3.9% turnover rate. Teams throw it 54% of the time against the Gamecocks. Now, pass plays, we take sacks and put those on passing plays and take them off the rushing plays. The Gamecocks giving up four and a half yards per rushing play, just 3.8 per pass play because that pass rush is tremendous. 4.1 total. Look, we've got Jackson Dart for Ole Miss. You've got Trey Harris who had another in a series of just one banner game after another. Now, I don't think they had many throws to receivers not named Harris last week. You got Henry Parrish who had an okay day, but looked like he was a little bit banged up. Ole Miss got a lot of weapons, but they're going to run into the strength of the Carolina team, which is that pass rush. And I didn't think Ole Miss's front the offensive line looked very good against Kentucky, to be honest. And, and they think very similar to Kentucky defensively. They can make you pay for mistakes. They can get after the pass rusher. I think this is going to be a fascinating matchup. Just one week after a look that's very similar uh, gave Ole Miss a lot of trouble. Yeah, you're right. Uh, one thing I, I think Ole Miss's offense is going to uh, – Ole Miss is going to be mad uh, after this game. So South Carolina's catching them at a time where uh, they, they're they they're mad about last week. And so, um, yeah, but you look at the offense, and, yeah, the offensive line you can point to and say that was a, that was a problem uh, against Kentucky. And I think Kentucky's defense was able to exploit some things – uh, that no one else has uh, on Ole Miss. And you mentioned they haven't uh, – that was really the first big test, I feel like, for Ole Miss, and and they couldn't pass it. And South Carolina is a tough team uh, defensively. Again, I thought they did really good against Kentucky uh, when they played. I thought they made some good stops against LSU uh, when South Carolina and LSU met a couple of weeks ago. And so uh, I think this defense has it in them to make some big-time stops. It's just can they make them enough? This is a really good offense with a lot of talent. Can they make enough stops to keep Ole Miss off the board? I think they uh, can make some good stops, but enough is a different story because, again, Ole Miss is going to try to do some big plays with Trey Harris, with 
Henry Parrish, maybe get Jordan Watkins involved and these other guys that we know Dart can throw to. Can they make enough stops? I think is a big question for me. Okay, before we examine the other side of the matchup, we remind you Bet Online is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything football. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. Think you know your stuff. Get in on our $200,000 mega contest. Pick five games against the spread every week for your chance at weekly prizes and a share of $200,000. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino. Get in on a game of blackjack or poker or unwind with one of over 150 slots games. Head to the website today to get in on all the action. Bet online. The game starts here. Now, again, we're doing this Monday morning. So we don't know about Rocket Sanders yet. We don't know about Lenore Sellers yet. Could be he, could be Robbie Ashford uh, taking the controls at quarterback. Again, defense, the better side of the ball for the Gamecocks. But when everybody's healthy and flashing things at times, you've seen some nice things out of this offense. You've seen Rocket Sanders uh, before he got banged up a couple of weeks ago looking a lot more like the Rocket Sanders when he played at Arkansas in 2022. The numbers for the Gamecocks, 34.3 points a game, averaging 68 offensive snaps. Carolina will run it 63% of the time, 5.3 yards per running play, 5.9 per passing play, 5.5 total. Defensive numbers for Ole Miss have been outstanding. The Rebels giving up 8.4 points a game, 70 snaps. So the defense out there a lot, although it has something to do with Ole Miss playing from ahead or playing ahead, and also, of course, the the offense runs at, at just light speed. So a lot of snaps when Ole Miss plays in general. The defense forcing turnovers 2% of the time. Teams will throw it 56% of the time against the Rebels. 2.4 yards per rushing play against Ole Miss. 4.8 per passing play. 3.7 total. And I think one thing that stands out here, Ole Miss has got 18 sacks. Uh, th- their wow. defensive line is outstanding. Um, you know, everybody's had trouble rushing it against them. So I- I'm a little concerned from a South Carolina perspective. Now, you, know, you get Robbie Ashford, that's a wild card. He can run, but you-, you sure would like your your rushing offense to be in better shape with presumably your starters at quarterback and at, at running back coming into this one. And-, and I hope we see those guys at full health because I'm-, I'm very interested to see when, when that comes down between that offense and that defense yeah you're absolutely right I mean uh those are two very important pieces uh and I think it does help having that uh bye week before this game to get those guys rested up because they do need them uh a a lot in this game but uh you know offensively for South Carolina is where we've seen some inconsistency but again you get everybody healthy I think that will that'll make this offense look way different than what we've seen um, uh, the past few games for for South Carolina. So you get everybody healthy, and I'll be interested to see what they can do against this Ole Miss defense. I've been saying since the beginning of the season, I'm really impressed with this Ole Miss defense. And uh, now they did let Kentucky uh, get some some good big plays on them the other day uh, on on Saturday, which I thought was interesting. Uh, but again, I I like where Ole Miss is at. I like their defensive front. I think they'll put a lot of pressure on whoever's quarterback back there uh, for South Carolina and force them to do uh, some big plays as well. So I think it's an interesting matchup, but I, I'm really hoping we see everybody healthy for South Carolina. That will make this game look much different, I think. All right, let's get to picks and why, and I'll start with you. Yeah, I'm going to take Ole Miss. Uh, you know, I think South Carolina could do some things uh, in this game. It is in South Carolina. That's a tough place to play, but I, I still think Ole Miss, after last week, they're going to have something to prove, and and I think they're going to be able to do that against South Carolina and, and kind of give them trouble offensively. It may not be the uh, the, the highest scoring game ever, but because I think South Carolina can match up with them defensively, uh, but I think Ole Miss's defense can, can put a stop to the Gamecocks offense. South Carolina is one of the hardest teams in the league to pick. Because on paper, a lot of times you don't like the matchup, and then Shane Beamer magic shows up. They block a kick and run it back, or you know, do something crazy. And, and frankly, I think the uh, I think that Carolina should have one loss at this point, or or really be, be unbeaten actually. Um, yeah, because I think that LSU game, they just right. There were some questionable things it went against. But I, I, at the same time, I'm concerned. I think this will be a lower scoring game than the over under. Uh, because I think Ole Miss's defense is just so good. And I'm concerned even if South Carolina is at full health, 
can they move the ball against a defensive front that's just really, really good? I mean, they got Chris Paul, Walter Nolan, all kinds of dudes. And I think Ole Miss's offense is going to be the best one South Carolina has seen. I, I just feel like be a little bit of a bounce back game. Carolina, I mean, excuse me, Ole Miss cannot afford to, to yes. be hung over about last week. I, I just think I think that Ole Miss's defense may win this game, and I just don't know that Carolina's offense can can keep up with what Ole Miss can do if it if if it does by chance get into a scoring battle. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I certainly agree with that. All right, we'll wrap that up. Uh, you come and make fun of us if we're wrong. We're wrong a lot, so <laughs> we'll we'll have fun with you either way. Whoever wins this game. We do live streams on Saturday night, about the time all the games for the day are wrapping up. So hit the subscribe button and enable your notifications to get that. Those things are free. Hit the like button that helps our analytics if you don't mind, please. And we cover SEC baseball, basketball, and football year-round. So hope you enjoy that. For Chase Robinson, I'm Chris Lee. You are watching Southeastern 16, presented by Bet Online.